Namaskar, welcome to Lunar Astro. So today's topic, what we are going to continue with is the professional series. Like last video, we did the Karanas and profession. How a particular current not in your chart show the quality of your profession. Show the quality of your power, how much power you have in life. In this particular video, I will discuss Karanas more in the foundation course of Jyotish. And because I'm going to discuss about the Panchang part. There are a lot of other concepts. Before I discuss Karanas, I have to discuss about the Tithi as well. Like if you're born in a particular Tithi, in a particular Karan, what will be the result? But I will discuss that in the foundation course. In this particular series, what I want to focus on that anyone who is watching this series and follow this series, by the end of the series, you will be able to tell what is a good time period, what should be the profession of native. When the native is going to get breaks in career, when it's going to get major transformations in career. So we'll go through different types of cases within the professional realms. Like for an example, I will show you the chart of a particular IPS. This particular IPS fought case with Indian government for nine years, lost the case, got transferred to some other place in the country. And there also he got suspended after it. So, you know, he became IPS, but he was never able to enjoy the power because all the time he was going through many struggles. So there has to be a combination of struggles within the chart, even if you become the IS officers. Similarly, what we're going to do today is we are going to go through the chart of the doctors and healers. Also, I will show you my readings, which I did this particular week. What and these both are the professional readings. Like uh, one of it, one of them I did on the Facebook forum. Second one I did on the on the personal level. Now I'll show you the kind of predictions I made and go through the same rules with you so that you can see how I'm making a particular prediction. Now the thing is, you see, always say you know the the ancestors always say the classical books always say that if you have malefics in tenth house like Saturn, Mars, Rahu. They work absolutely wonderful in that particular house, in the house of Saturn, 10th house. This is the house where if Malefic goes in, it works wonderful. And when the benefit comes in, like Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, they face troubles. The reason is, I mean, you have to think deeper on the lines and why 10th house, only the Malefics are welcomed over there. You see, the reason is, and I wrote this on Facebook and in my blog today as well, on the uh, plants in Lagna, why people suffer. You see, we always require benefit plants in the Lagna, like Jupiter, Mercury. Jupiter is Dagbali there. Mercury is Dagbali there. You require sun, who is exalted. But you require plants like these in the Lagna. Reason being is, you see, there are people who will suffer and you look at them and you will say like, why this particular person is not changing? Why this particular person is submission to the other people? Why is he not reacting? Because you see, every one of us, when we come down to earth, this particular purpose for all of us. People who are very noble souls, like you know, if we get somebody gets a marker in Lagna, I mean, these are the people who will send up, who will call you on your birthdays. They'll keep the family intact. They will send out good morning, good evening messages. That's marker in Lagna, and these are the people who will get a lot of blame games. These are the people who will, you know, people will use them and after that they will say uh, what you have done for us. Mercury is the one who will call different people and tell them about different medicines, how to get out of particular troubles. This is a Mercury in Lagna. But it is their nature, right? I mean, they have come down from the realm of Mercury to help the human beings, to help that particular family. When we pray during the Amava Sakranti, like today is Ekadashi, a wonderful day today. Uh, one of the biggest Ekadashis of the year. When you pray during these days, I mean, how the God is going to help? He's going to send out I mean, different souls to help out in your family. I mean, you are only thinking about temporary help. That some send me someone now, but God is thinking about, okay, let me send him someone who can guide him for several lifetimes. So that's why people are born with Jupiter in Lagna. Because somebody in the Jupiter realm must have thought, and if you think the realm part is not real, uh, not real, read uh, Bhagavad Purana. Because Bhagavad says different time zones, like 
what is one and even in the Gita as well, what is one million years for you is a one day for Brahma. So it's like a different zone, different dream. So when when you must be praying in temple, the soul might be thinking, okay, let me come down to earth and help this person. It's like a very quick job. It's only one lifetime for this person. So I will be back by afternoon within one hour. So this is where that soul is thinking about you. But when they came down from the from the reel of Jupiter to the reel of Earth, what happens? I mean, the air of Jupiter is extremely thin. It's like a helium. It's a diverse air in hydrogen helium mix. And the what they have to breathe here is a very heavy air. So that's why Jupiter and Lagna, Jupiter once when access, they get the cough related issues. They are not able to breathe properly because now they have to adjust to the spoiler rail. And that's why till the age of 16, they suffer through it. And after 16, Jupiter, it takes 16 years to get adjusted to the earth. Same thing happens with the Mars. Same thing happens with the sun. When you come down from the realm of sun, there is not enough heat. So that your body can adjust properly. So that's why when people have sun and lagna, you can see their face. You know, they have this this orange face, reason, uh, this red face. Reason being is there's a lot of pith content in them. But they have came down to earth. They suffer a lot. I mean, when people with benefic plants and lagna came down to earth, Saturn and lagna. I mean, the first thing somebody was asking with Saturn and lagna, whether I should. Uh, uh, invest, you know, make a donations for building the temples. I said, you know, the first thing you should do is make a home for yourself. Because at the age of 60, and that's for your person was 60, I said, you know, you're 60 right now. The worst thing which you will face in your life is Saturn and Lagna. They came down on earth. The reason being is somebody must have prayed, oh God, please give me profession and tell me how I can build my home. Because Saturn and Lagna, when they come down, due to them, a lot of people progress in life, set up their professions, build their houses, and this is a one person who is who will not be able to build his own house. This is a person who will not have his own profession. Saturn and Lagna, they suffer, and then then you see, you know you know they will start a business in partnership. Saturn and Lagna, and by the when the business will start flourishing. They will be kicked out of that business. You feel sorry for them, but I mean, these are very noble souls with who thought, you know, let me go down and help other people build their professions because they are not adjusted to the Earth's atmosphere. That's why when you know there's a term which is used from which particular soil or which particular mud you are made. I was looking at the chart of a lady, and this lady is a very prominent lady in a very high position, high power lady. Everything is good. She is living with a, with a person who is cheating on her. She knows about it. But she has accepted it. And she is going like, maybe it's my karma. And Venus and Lagna. And the person, because for her, the, the best and the best of the things is in this particular life is food and relationships. She is not able to leave the husband. And this is like going from last 13, 14 years. I mean, these are very noble souls who come down, plant, any plant in Lagna on one, one seven axis. These are the people who have descended down from that earth, Rahu and Ketu even, you know, if you have Rahu and Ketu in one seven axis, Ketu is a bridge, Rahu Ketu is a bridge, the outer part and the lower parts. You know why people with Rahu in Lagna is born? Rahu is the one who shows that still there is a past life connection, when people are not able to do things on their own like i mean see the story of rahu it's a communicator messenger when people are people were not able to do things you know when the cheating was going on he was the one who pointed it out so if you've been cheated in your past life you will be born with the rahu with the prominent planet but boss you're cheated there that's why i'm going to come and give you eyes that's so that you can see so that is why whichever plant sits with rahu the person has the intuition which nobody can gauge. Ketu make bridges. Ketu is a karka for bridge. When people are not able to cross one realm to another, 
when people are not being introduced to the another subjects these are the people who will introduce the world to a particular subject to a particular department to different realms is itself we will discover something ketu and lagna is once once uh, ketu and lagna because rahul is in the seventh house and still these people will be you know uh, people will betray them people will make bad things about them i'm jupiter in lagna people will take because jupiter do not know when to stop people will keep on taking from them without even thinking what we are taking from that person whether we should you know be very grateful or thank for them for the, what he is doing for the society jupiter does for society and then you know in the jupiter dasha the, these people run here and there and whenever the the payback time will come because you see what you are doing is you are taking from jupiter at one point of time what is going to happen is all this will get accumulated and you will suffer in form of your kids then when it comes to your kids that's a point of time you will realize what i've done has come to my kids now so be careful i mean if, even if you are on a giver end or on a taker end on both sides because in your world if you're coming from the world of mercury in your world enthusiasm curiosity laughter taking care of each other is a part of life it's it is a value system for you i mean you value money because you believe that that can buy things for mercury the value is saying good morning remembering birthdays that's a value system for venus of the the value is resources food feeding people but the other person who is from different realm will not value that thing so for from here and you are doing the best the other person will not understand it so be careful about it the another part is in the 10th house what happens in the 10th house why the benefits are required in lagna why the malefics are required in the 10th house the reason being is every one of us are assigned with a particular task but when we come down to earth what happens is this is a real this is a house of saturn this is a realm ruled by saturn and saturn being the iron person things are a bit difficult here saturn is residue part and to you know the one which is left from different planets gets combined in the 10th house the house where the most amount of effort will go in to solve the karma and when you have to do something extraordinary you require a very hard working planets like mars sun saturn when benefic plants will come they are you know the benefic plants they are they are natural benefics venus mercury they cannot be cruel they cannot be cruel in the deeds they will they will go like oh we should not do this we should delay it so that is why in 10th house benefic plants will not work i will write in detail about the benefics in the 10th house how they work but this is a basic reason about it so similarly when you look at the chart of doctors i mean think about i will tell you the classical part first what the classical book says then i will tell you what the practical book says what i have found in my data bank this will give you a very clear idea how to follow the classics so classical book says the connection of sun jupiter and mercury has to be with the 10th house or the 10th lord for the combinations of doctor they should be combination of saturn and venus involvement of 6 8 and 12th houses or signs this is the combination given out for doctors now let me come to this particular part which i have found in the charts you see sixth house is a disease sixth house is mercury and when somebody has to cure the mercury somebody has to cure the disease the result should be 11th house because it is sixth from sixth so there has to be connection between mercury and saturn in the chart this is what i have found in the chart of doctors you will find out mercury in virgo 11th house navanch saturn navanch mercury saturn combination mercury 11th house mercury queries lot of doctors get this mercury queries also healer's chart i will not discuss healer's chart today but for but for your information i'm telling you for healer's chart as well mercury 11th house will be there 
or mercury queries will be there because they are there to solve the problems the another combination is and the specially combination for surgeons because you have to remove body parts you have to remove the extra growth saturn mars combination 10th lord with saturn mars 10th lord sitting in house of mars aspected by saturn has to be there to become for a person to become the surgeon same chart when will become will belong to gyne the sign of libra will be prominently there in 10th house or the 10th lord will go in the sign of libra also for the cosmetic surgeons libra will be there without libra the person cannot be surgeon now saying this let us look at the charts and you see whenever you have to test the principle the one thing you can do is you can always go to the lunar astro software you can also go to this online on the lunar astro website you have the data bank available online this is also embedded within the software so i search for surgeon and these are the charts so remember the rules will go for it and look in every chart so first condition for for the surgeon is mars sudden combination in 10th house you see in taurus sign there is a a6 product the connection to 6th house there is a mars in 10th house and also aspected by saturn the third aspect of saturn on mars so there is a saturn mars combination happening in the 10th house now do you have a mercury saturn combination which is a required for successful operation i mean if, when you go to a doctor you expect my operation will be successful 611 combination now in this particular case you see mercury is in sign of virgo it is sitting with the ascendant lord and a debilitated venus so mercury is very prominent in the chart and i will tell you something very specific about this particular person as well just a minute mercury is in the 6th house navansh combined with saturn in the navansh chart along with jupiter so it also fulfills our second condition there is a saturn mercury jupiter connection also in the lagan chart also in the navansh chart for the successful operations but you see saturn mars combination is happening in the 10th house there is a pada of a6 this particular person this particular uh, gentleman he used to give miniature shocks you see whenever 8000 uh, i think one of the videos have explained in uh, in the one of the blogs have explained 8000 is miniature current so this particular person used to supply currents a very small amount of quant small quantity to the war soldiers so that they can come out of trauma and he was the first one in the field to do this this is why he got these several awards as well let us go for the second chart okay this is second chart again we will look for same combinations so 10th house has a libra sign there is a pad of a8 so 6 8 and 12 always remember will go in the 10th house for the doctors or 10th lord will go in these houses this is a compulsory because they are continuously dealing with deaths diseases or liberations so 10th lord is in 11th house in sign of mars pad of a2 is also there you see one thing which i have uh, observed is and i will discuss in separate video the degrees are very important you see this venus 8 degrees mars 6 degrees the 6 8 and 12 degrees are also important here this also represents the kind of energy they the plants are carrying the one of the other degrees which is very prominent is mercury on 11 uh, 10 degrees 20 degrees because this 10 and 20 is belong to effects of saturn so when mercury goes on 10 degrees 20 degrees like in this chart also if you see there is a mercury on 10 degrees itself so mercury is automatically carrying the effect of saturn energy now see what i told you in the starting was the libra sign 
belongs to cosmetic surgeons, gynecologists. So since the Mar Venus goes in sign of Mars, the part of A2 which represents face and you see Saturn, Mars, Rahu, second house. So this person was plastic and war surgery. And this was the first one to actually do so in the field. And let us see the Mercury and Saturn connection. So Mercury again sign of Virgo. And Mercury goes in. Mercury goes with Saturn in the fourth house. You see the accountants also get the Saturn Mercury combination, but they only get the Saturn Mercury combination combination. The Mars is absent there. The technical part is absent. So, and I will discuss, that's why I will discuss accountants separately in the, the CAs and I, the people who prefer CA, CAs accountants. They have a prominent Saturn Mercury in their chart, but in that case, Saturn Mercury is prominent. Let us look at third chart. Also the physician. Mass Saturn combination 10th house. You can always see and Mercury goes in 11th. I can see Mars is on 6 degrees. Mercury very close to 20 degrees. Mercury is in 11th house. And then it goes in Lagna. That's why the person becomes a writer as well later on. This is Saturn Mercury connection and the ascendant chart itself. But what you should also say is there has to be connection to 6th house, 8th house or 12th house. Now in this particular case, you see 10th Lord goes in 9th house and then the Pada, which is the you know, feet from where why this particular person is doing the surgery. The reason of past life, A10 goes in the 8th house. It has to get connected to the 8th house, 6th house or 12th house to become doctors. So one more chart we'll do. We'll do couple or more charts. So I'll do first. Okay, this is the bad timing. I'll do George Bruce. Now this is a very interesting chart. If you have a look, tenth house has a eight twelve para. And all the other planets. Saturn, 10th Lord in 5th house with Sun. Remember what we learned about? 10th Lord in 5th house gives out royal jobs. So Sun, Saturn, Sun, Saturn combination give out royal jobs. So this particular person was a royal physician for King and Queen for 10 years. Mars and Venus also 10th house. So Saturn, Mars combination became the surgeon combination. What we should look now is for the Mercury. Now Mercury is in 6th house, exalted. Mercury goes in again in the Aquarius Navanch. In the Navanch chart also, Mercury goes in Navanch in this particular house. So for this particular combinations, for the combination to become a doctor, Mercury 11 is necessary. Then only the, otherwise the person will not be able to do the, the surgeries. Then there's Alfred Fripp, okay, the rating is B, then go GGM, Parar, okay. Now, uh, he's an orthopedic surgeon. And still, the, I mean, the, anytime the surgeon will come, any kind of, uh, uh, you know, weapon has to be picked up. Mars and Saturn has to be there. So, Martian sign, a lot of planets in the house of a and see Mercury on 5 degrees. So Mercury has carried the energy of Sun in this particular chart. Mars is in 4th house. Mars aspects and Saturn aspects in 10th house. Now we should also look for where is a, uh, where is a Mercury going in the Navans chart. Mercury is going in the, the Navans chart in the sign of Taurus. But the star sign is the 11th sign. It's 11th Navanch in the Rashi chart. So Mercury is fulfilling the condition to get connected to the 11th Navanch. 
then only the doctor was able to give out good results from a surgery so see when at any point of time when you're going for surgery if you want to look at few more charts they you know it is available on online it's also available on the website please go ahead but let me discuss this particular topic see if you ever want to go for a surgery i hope this particular topic is clear now for when you're looking at the surgeon's chart you can go ahead look in this uh, if you have any surgeon's chart you can always post it if you think in any chart you have of doctors where this combination is not working because i've, I've tested thoroughly please let me know i will be happy to answer it i will i will be happy to show you the path because next time i'm going to do the dentist moon mercury combinations then next time we will do the accountants so uh, i'm going to discuss every single profession in detail but anytime you're going to do the surgery if you're a doctor or anytime you're going for your health checkup check in mahurata sixth house connection with the 11th house mercury connection with the saturn make sure 11th lord is not retrograde while going for surgery like one of the examples i i always quote if 11th lord is retrograde or 6th lord is retrograde during the surgeries you will not be able to do your surgery in one go like you have to go through it every uh, in a several times to get it right so whenever the 11th lord and 6th house is not making connection or whenever there is the involvement of 8th lord with this combination 12th lord with this combination that is the time you should not go for surgery you should always plan the surgery otherwise what will happen is you will find out the surgery will have or dasha chedra is happening or tithi chedra is happening the mahurata is not right and this is one thing which i am going to cover in the upcoming course of foundation mahurata because mahurata is in the panchang is a sink of time how you synchronize you are with your space how synchronized you are by doing things and you should be very well aware of doing these things and i'm telling you this very openly right now that this is a i think within next three days you're going to increase the prices of the course so if you have not enrolled by now get it enrolled because later on uh, do not blame us say send emails that you know you have increased prices but because there are few seats left after that the, there's something to do with the server quantity and buy it go on next package so within the next few days we are going to increase the prices if you have not enrolled enroll now sixth house connection with the 11th house 11th house connection to eight do not go for surgery if you're going for their surgery at this particular time period when the plants are retrograde 11th lord retrograde ascendant lord is in 6 8 12 then definitely not go for surgery ascendant lord in 6 6th lord in 11th fine retrogression should not be there the Rahu Ketu involvement should not be there. Dasha should be of Mars or Ketu only. Antar Dasha, Pratin, Tar Dasha should be of Mars and Ketu. Because without Mars and Ketu, Antar and Pratin, Tar, you cannot go for surgery. Like, if the day the surgery is happening, that, that short span, which is Prana Dasha, Sukshma Dasha, Mars Ketu are the carcass for getting the surgery done. Also, whenever you're going for surgery, one of the, th one of the things which I always tell people, if you're going for a surgery, because now you work, what you're going to do is you're going to remove some of your body part. If some of your body part has to be removed, go on at the three of Naomi, 4th or 14th. Choose any of these three things to get rid of things. If it is it's like a, you know, uh, cyst removal, these three things. These are Rikta tithis, but best for getting things removed from the body. So, <clears throat> this was the, uh, the lecture on the Yeah, before we go, let me show you the chart which I saw today on Facebook and the the lady was asking whether I will be able to retire this year. Start Should I start my own business or should I go for... Should I, re, should I retire? Should I start my own business? Should I look for another job? What business I should I do? Now, let me show you Vimshotari Dasha. I will start with Vimshotari Dasha. This is a chart. I saved her as a retirement lady. So Dasha, Venus is about to start from 5th of July. You see, Venus is in 11th house. Venus is not going in the 8th Navanj, which is also the 3rd Navanj. Now, one comment which I wrote for her was, 
Venus is in 8th house. From 11th, it is going 8th. This is first clue. The second clue is Venus is in the Antar of Rahu. Sorry, Venus is in Nakshatra of Rahu, Satvisha Nakshatra. Again, it's an independent Nakshatra. So see, the third house is all involved, third sign is involved. Something new is about to start. Very clear in Dasha of Venus. This is very clear. Whenever there is a Dasha of third house, third lord, person starts something new. Let's just go to D10 chart. D10 chart. Venus is in 12th house. Any planet in 12th house of D10 in a very good state with a benefit. The person do, does leave the profession by his own will. But also, what is special is Venus is the 8th Lord. 8th Lord is of death of profession. So, death of profession is happening willingly for her. And see, age is also, you know, supporting. Age is also, I think, in 60s. But to see the reason why she is getting retired, look for a dispositor. It is coming in third house again. So something new is about to start in the, the, in the Shanch as well. It's a part of A7 partnerships. Uppada lagna, 12th house pada. So there is something she is going to start. So what is she is going to do is, look at the Karana she has. She has a Karana Lord as Mercury. Karana Lord Mercury and Karana Lord is retrograde. In lagna. In sign of Sagittarius. So what is the advice I gave her? I said, you should do something related to transportations, healing, advising people because Sagittarius sign. This is the Dasha. She will start something related to healing, advising people, promoting yoga, selling of medicines, promoting medicines. And Dasha of Shukra is perfectly fine for her. So she is going to retire. I mean, the, that's the only question she asked us, uh, on the Facebook forum. Whether I will be able to retire, should I do my job or continue with the or start a new business? And what is the particular line I should go in? So I replied in one line, you, should, you will be able to retire. You will be able to start a new work because new work is starting third house. Also, you should try your hand in communications, uh, re, you know, communications, promoting healing, spiritual work, because Sagittarius sign Mercury over there, yoga type of work, something which will make people young, medicines, Rahu, you know, Rahu Shatvisha, medicines, Rahu Shatvisha third house, that's a dispositor of the Venus. So you see how quickly you can disuse by using certain rules in terms of profession that this is a time period for her but i also use the kal chakra dasha and it also told the same thing but if this anything is not clear regarding this video you can always come back ask the questions i'll see you guys next time thank you bye bye